oh, this is so exciting. So, a friend of mine, uh, they wanted me to play this game so bad they actually bought it for me, so now I feel obligated to try it out. I have no idea what to expect, but uh, let's find out together, right? So I guess I'm supposed to expect great things from this game. And I know exactly who to blame if it doesn't. Deliver. Okay. Do I just... Oh. Right. Very cool. Uh, uh, just... Just one second. Oh, dude. You should play this in VR, I feel like. No, no, no. I like my marshmallows without the toes, please. Eh, eh. Okay. <laughs> now you get it, now you don't. You're not, you're not supposed to, isn't it just with, um, like the ember afters? Can I burn it? Nee. 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 Hey, dude, check it out. I got a marshmallow. Jello smudge? Nom. Yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Sorry. But this reminds me of um uh, we were here style on this. Hello. There's our pilot, back back from the pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly you're here, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off of the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go, I'm ready if you are. You're sure you fixed the retro sock? A rocket socket, whatever it's at, I don't know. Uh, that was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch code from Hornfelt at the observatory uh, before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. I think I have a little drift. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh. Hold and release. Boing. 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 Oh. Hmm. Um. Oh. Was I supposed to go that far? Into the water! I name him Toby. Nyeh. He's shy, Toby. But he's a good boy. Uh. Let me let me get this. Yeah. Whee! I did get it! Bye, Toby! You were great! See you in another lifetime! Bye! I think I found a bug. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Sorry, this is too hot. Do I just wait for the water? I want to go down there. Stop with the water spraying. I need to go and take a look. Toby's a curious little robot. No. You know what? Thank you for uh, letting me crash you. Jesus. 
Going downhill is funnier. Woo! Can I get up there? I... You know what? Yes. Yes, I can. Because I want to. I imagine my dude going like back with his hands and like... Ah, yeah. <laughs> Where no one else has gone. <laughs> See? I can do it better this time, I swear. Uh, are you sure you want to wake up? <laughs> are you sure? Oh, wow. Thank God. Hey, friend. We got a second chance. Yes. Oh, oh. Uh, glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of light, lightweight, rentry grade aluminum oil, you know? You want to find out? <laughs> uh, you know, this one I know. Me. Me. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we find out some other way to die? Oh no. I can force- Oh, did- Were you standing here before? Did I just not see you? Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off into, uh, in your spaceship today. I'm really excited to see the launch, dude! I am not! I am not excited to see the launch! <laughs> I'm gonna die! I mean, yes, I am the confident pilot that shall maneuver the ship. I shall maneuver it as I've been maneuvered Toby out of existence. Aren't you gonna... Aren't you gonna go into space? <laughs> you better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. Uh, I want to practice with a pro before I leave. I hear you and Slade beefed up a model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Trying to land on the keys or pulls, show me what you've got! Mika, you shouldn't do this to me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no! Toby! That should- that should count! That should also count! I'm technically here! Eee, Toby! Oh man... <laughs> There's just gonna be pieces in this game that I cut out because I'm laugh crying. Come on! You know what? This is a style, okay? It's a choice. It's not a choice anymore. Woo! This little lamp thing in the way. Come on, that's that dude. Um, mm -hmm. 
Do I need to land in the middle or something? Do I need to land on them both? Oh no! No! Toby! What are you doing, friend? Yeah, there you go. No, no, no. I got this. Don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams, kids. We can still do it. Just look at Toby. He's being controlled by an idiot and he's still... Okay, never mind. That counts, right? I feel like that counts. What a landing! I guess that's why Slate listen. <clears throat> Whew, let's just fly the real thing, huh? I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry to disappoint, but that thing came with several re tries. Launch tower, yes. Well, this time I'm gonna actually talk to people. Heyo, hatchling. I hear you leaving us to seek adventures among the stars. When you're returning, uh, let you, me, and Gosan, and Gosan open a bottle of the good stuff. Why not now? I'm leaving. I'm only seeking adventure amongst the stars. Amongst one star, actually. Other stars are far too uh, too far away. The good stuff is less <laughs> is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scien scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. You know, I, I think I'm gonna really need all the luck I can get. Also, I like your soup. Hi. Oh, the astronaut returns. Tell me, what can I do for you? Any new dirt in your soup? I'm hoping to teach Esker to, tr to tap trees. Esker to tap trees next time they return from the Utter Lo Utter At Atler Rock. If they bring me lunar sap, I can attempt moon wine. Ooh. That, my dude, that is very dirty. That is very, very dirty. Thank you. Hey. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? It really don't explode as often anymore. <laughs> well, maybe with me at the hell moon. Knows. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically statistically quite high. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rocket, things seems to burn to the ground around here more often than they used to. My man, that might be for my fault. Love the rocker, by the way. Oh. This pilot seat used by pioneering astro astronaut Fieldspar is all that remains of your inaugular flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtaking liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Har Harth Harthian history. No, it didn't say that. It says meow, meow. Okay. Why do we want to go to the stars? Why? I mean, I mean to star? The star? Oh, yes. Toby 1.0. Now, this, this, this sucker, he went through some shit. His, his, his shit was named Kali. She fucking crashed that dude. Hello? Oh. I'm sorry. I was bathing in wine earlier, I just needed to wash my feet. Hello, Marl. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's going to miss you. <laughs> Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you build a new one? Less, <laughs> less flammable one. <laughs> that big tree in the village would be perfect choice. That's still wood, my dude. I wouldn't mind keep uh, helping out the space program. Just say the word. That's really nice. The current launch pad is fine. Thanks. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. <laughs> launch pad is flammable. 
<laughs> nice try, Angel had it absolutely. What? No, I just think it's in the way and, and someone ought to chop it down, you know, like specifically me. Haha, -ha, you think this has to do with the time that I fell out of it and broke my arm? That, that was when we were hatchling. So would hold a grudge for that long against the tree on top of that. Which tree are you referring to? That one? Specifically that one? The really huge one that seems to be holding up a lot of scaffoldings and stuff? Yeah, no, not that one? Okay. <laughs> Can I ram, like, rummers through some of your uh, cabins and stuff? Hello! Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Why do they bring ins- okay. Tell me about the traveler's instruments. Where's the observatory? Where's the observatory? Just saying hi before I leave. Don't tell me your life story. No, tell me. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know? Let me see. There's Shirt's drum, Straybeck's banjo, Gabriel's flute. And the Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll, uh, that'll be one of the space programmers out, uh, space programs others travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. I'm just saying, a master of many is a master of none. I don't trust the quality of your instruments. Don't look at me like that, you know it's true. Um, well, I'm not trying you again. You got me drowned last time. I thought I was just gonna go for a ride. But I mean, it's tempting. Oh, hi! Hello, astronaut! If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. What's with the radio? No. Trouble troublemaker! We wanted to play it hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Dude, I hear you. I hear you. Hey, hey! Can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Mm, I don't know, but okay. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Um... <clears throat> Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you use your signal scope to find us. Okay, good. It's not a chasing game. That's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Uno, dos, tres. Oh. Beep, beep, beep. Ah. <gasps> so there you are, and then we have. There. I mean... So you're there, but I don't want to find the one that's closest. Let's take the one furthest away. Can I jump, like, without dying? Okay, yes. I'm just very sensitive to water. I hear you. Hmm. Okay, so I need to... I shouldn't be asking this, but can I sprint? I don't know if I should be trusted with any sort of velocity and speed in this game. Oh, oh. Found you. No. Oh. You found me. Do I should I find you both? Maybe I'll find both of you. Okay. Mokai. Crap at all. I didn't even need the signal thing to find you here. You got me, but I'm the last one. I win. Promise you play again when you get back from space, okay? You gotta. Do we jump into the water now? Uh, Wee! Oh, ow. Scraped the side of my face, I did. 
That's fine, I run through some bushes. More pain will numb the pain. But there was another person standing here, now I can't talk to them. Okay. Ooh. Oh, ow, eat, uh. And I've talked to you, so that's launch tower. Hmm. I guess we've seen it all here. Let's go find that um, observatory. I don't need to ask directions. I have signs. Signs are telling me. Oh, wait, hi. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You live in the, the crater? Guess we'll be able to. Uh, guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water plant, the giant's deep. That's where I'd go. Uh, why is that? One time? At band camp? After the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two uh, of us sitting around the campfire, Gabra told me about the, their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on the account of, the hus of how murk the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabra wanted to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly, Garbo couldn't go any further. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabra go any deeper. It held Gabra back, almost as, as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabra saw it! The tentacle of something, some hideous beast! Ah! I mean, that's what Gabra says anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabra out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know? Make sure to bring some back with you. Of course I will. Zero G. Oh. My god. Oh my god. We're doing this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have to restart the whole thing again after I'm done with Zero G. Do I have to restart the game every single time I die? Because that might be a problem. Oh, hello. <laughs> what? Am I supposed to take a picture of something? Look at that. Oh. Am I... I don't know. Am I supposed to catch something? Dude, what are you doing? Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghost matter? Ghost matter? I don't know, dude. This is so funny. Cousin said it used to be bigger when they were hatchlings. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes su 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 super long to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm grown up. Ghost matter is awesome! Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. <laughs> Let's toss you. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You know how ghost matter... You know ghost matter is how tech, tech tides lost their feet. Food, right? Eh. Whoa, really? That is so cool. No. I was trying to scare you. If I'd tell my kid that, she would be scared. 
Hello, Moraine. Huh? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. It's already day. I've been walking around all night and doing shit. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sound from distant planets. Can it really reach that far? Like, really? <clears throat> it's set to Outer Wilds Venture Frequency. Oh, so I can pick up Traveler's music. Last night I heard uh, Rybeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. Or that someone stole it. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of the day and night it is since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Sounds like it. <laughs> oh yeah. Do we have any other planets out tonight? It's already night. My man, it's already night again. <clears throat> Told you to stop. Ow. Do it again. Observatory. Hold up, it's pointing down. Didn't I did I not come from here? Am I just like meh I'm sure I Oh whoa 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 dude That one looked to be on a collision course. Am I supposed to explore anything else there? Oh, so I can walk, but I'm like constantly running maybe. <coughs> Cool. Oh. I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater Young Bark Crater up north and I figured and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. <laughs> I promise nothing. Oh no, there's instructions. Easy instructions. I'll never remember it. Hey kid, I got a rock with your name on it. Oh, I missed one. Okay, so that's north. Can I? Oh. What? <gasps> oh! Ah. Oh. Oh, there's something. Look at me being a journalist. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> right before impact. Hey, I didn't break anything. I followed your memo. I have feet! Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I got COG training. Yes! That's what we want to do! You were... Hi. Hey, I thought I might see you before your big launch. You're missing an eye. In case you didn't know. Nerves getting the better of you? 
Right. Like you, if you were nervous for your first flight. I'm a little nervous, yeah. Are you kidding? I'm a natural at it. I'm a little nervous. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous before going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a crate, new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as good as you. Hey, I've gotten better. That's not what Slate says. I got him better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a... Uh, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the CRG cave and in, uh, in needs of repairs. Hmm. If you're looking for a little last minute CRG practice, for me, it definitely is like first time practice, so... Yeah. Head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make make ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Nah. <laughs> no, let's do it. Cool. Get to it and try not to con concuss yourself right before you first... <laughs> that would be a thing. That would be a thing. Bye, Gossan. I will never remember any of your names. I don't expect you to remember mine either! How deep are we going? Fuck this shit, I'm out! No. Uh. Is this gonna be a thing? Is this gonna be a thing? Is this gonna be a thing? I'm already scared. I know there's not gonna be anything to be scared of right here, but I'm gonna be scared. Okay. Right. Oh my god. Uh, am I gonna be like... What did we name him? Gobi? Gub- Gubby? Gub- Gobi? Toby? Gobi? The little drone that- that could? Mm-hmm. Ah... Uh, yeah. Okay. Rude. Oh my goodness. How do I like rotate? Oh. Uh. Yeah, but I don't if I would want to. You can match it. Oh, I see. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. How close do I have to go to repair it? Uh. Oh, there we go. No, no. I wanted to do something with this, but I don't know. Oh. No, no. Match velocity. Silver tape will fix everything. Hmm. Oh, that's good. A little up we go. Careful, careful does it. Someone broke those really bad just for training, huh? Where's the next one? I can hear you! But I can't see- there you are! What did I lock on? Uh, there. No, no, we need to go down a little bit. We need to go! Where no one else is gone. Or you know, they have. Ah! Uh, turn it. Twist it. Bop it. Solder it while the 
electricity is still on. Okay. Where do I go now? Oh. Where do I go? Where did you go? My lovely. Calm down. Right, right, right. Up, up. Up, up and away! Hey, I just want to point out, I didn't die. <laughs> you know, yet. Meh. I don't mind a scraped face, that's fine. Hey, I did it. Now, uh, where my reward? Where am my reward at? I got through the scary cave. I didn't die. Wait, I need to leave my stuff. Where did I... Where did I take it? There. Can I just leave it here now? Yeah. I'm no... I'm, I don't steal stuff. Every day. Oh, thank god. Whee! And it turns out I was zero G all along. Be proud. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be more, a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. So I can hit small things. Is that what you're saying? I can see you're itching to get off this off this rock. So go get to the, get the launch cards from the observatory and get out of here. Best of luck. Uh, out there and hey try to avoid getting yourself killed now and uh, that I put so much time into training you got it I'm an investment mm, that's what I love to hear I put so much time and money into you you better deliver you better deliver Hell? I mean, hi! No, uh, excuse my language. Outer Wilds Venture founding members. Clockwise from... Clockwise starting from where? I'm guessing up left. Well, clockwise. Okay. Hornfell, Goss Gossen, Slate, and Philspark. Cool. That's very nice. A big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wild Ventures. Without them, we haven't got blah, blah, blah. Matthew Ben Quagmire, Jordan, Tom, Sean, Shark Tempered, Steven, Ryan. Okay, that's cool. Very good. Outer Wild Venture. Timberheart Heart's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reach of our solar system. It's casting a shadow, it's fake. Felspar was the first Hearthian to be in, in intentionally launched into space. Oh my god, this game. They completed the first orbit around Timberheart and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon. Where's the footsteps? Did you use your COG training? Hello. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day is last, at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool it, uh, inaugurator flight, too. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Naomi text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours. Uh, into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha, <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. Uh, um, and I'm not even the one going into space. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So, what's the dirt? You here to see the new Naomi statue? Of course. 
just here to get the launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're dying to head off into space, but seriously, you got to see the statue before you go. It, it's an amazing find. Makes me wish we could see the what a real live no, no, Nomai. I'm saying, it's I'm saying Naomi all the time, but Numai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we're gonna get. Check it out. Look at the fur they had. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Dude, I'm only here to get the codes. I want to go get off this rock. Ah, oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Uh, go on. You have a ship to launch. Hey, it took my hint. Good job. Take care of yourself out there. Are you here? Whoa, okay, that is pretty cool. This remarkably intact statue was carved by car by Numai, uh, an ancient species that dwelled in our solar system a thousand years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at, uh, at the Nomai, who appears to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewel that's been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the spe species came from or what happened to them. Could you imagine trying to sleep with that thing in the back of your head? I don't think so. Whoa. The radio tower here on Timberhearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellites. Uh, and to this day still houses a first ever photo taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the deep space satellite unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the planes of the solar system. Thanks to, reason, uh, to a recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating a real-time solar system map used by our newest... newest astronauts. Newest. I need to drink some water. Okay. Watch closely. These balls, dude. I know, no. Oh, okay. You were actually going for the those. Okay. I think we could have used another word. Whee! The ground is perfectly leveled. So, what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer locks gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Yeah, I know, I feel it. I feel it, my dude. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the stars runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. And then boom. Hmm. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabro, cla Gabro claims the rock uh, exists in all possible stated states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever it is actually happening, both sides of this uh, debate agrees the effect is extremely creepy. Hi. Are you Rodinger's cat? Are you literally the largest piece that we have in existence that can uh, exist in all state at the same time? That would be a scientific breakthrough. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. As the star's con core contract- oh, the story continued. I see, I was a little, uh... I was a little let down that it didn't continue, so here we are. As the star core contract, it gets hotter, causing the outer layer to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Oh. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. 
Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observation, this will one day be our fate, be the fate of our own sun. But not today, not today. Hi. My god, you're pretty. Tickle, tickle. This angler fish species, I don't think it survives very well this high above the waterline. Unless it's a t pressurized tank, I guess. Um, was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark Bramble. It appears well suited for living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Uh, it looks so happy. This crystal was taken from a Noami ruin in Brittle, ho Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local create a local gravity distortion and uh, was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. I think we saw that, didn't we? Like something like that? How do I eat? Wow! Eh. I mean, I see that being useful, yes. Am I approaching this the wrong way or something? I feel like all of the signs are the wrong way for me. Uh, the, the Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been great uh, boon to outer wild ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gears in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. Almost like they're teleporting, huh? This was drastically reduced. This has drastically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depth of space. That is useful. I wish I could use that for my socks. Uh, what you see here are parts of... N really? No, my skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed uh, antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. <laughs> The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. Uh, the differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that uh, Harthians couldn't have descended from the no Nomai ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, and, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Don't you have like more brittle bones if there's like a very low gravity? So it's a space, very, very much space traveling species. Maybe their bones uh, evolved into that. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was pottery, potta, was discovered in, on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects and other subje uh, subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born amongst other stars and planets, and if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer uh, through further expeditions. Um, or, or, those things existed way back when, and they are not anymore. This piece of Nomai writing was essential was essential to decipher their unique language. Although this text is linear... Okay, ah, uh, okay. This text, particularly this text I'm reading right now. The Maya text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, cool. Oh, oh! Dude, why did I get so scared? Oh, man. Just gonna... Stretch a bit. Um, we are nearly ready. Felix and I have finished constructions and she says calibrating the device won't take long. 
Wait, that was it? Hmm. Fortunately, the other looks lack the atmosphere. Lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume my research. That was it. You could have warned me you're gonna put up this thing in my face. Cool, I guess. Okay, we did that. We did that. We looked there. Let's go up. It's the most intriguing wood house ever. Did you shop it off? Well, I've never. Huh. There's a the little camera thing. Dark bramble. Whoa. What is that? I assume, yeah. What is that? It's a little star, I guess. And you? Hmm. Lantern. Huh. Cool. Cool. The cool, cool, cool. That happened. You have any other cool stuff that I want to look at? No? Yes. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away... ...away from us. In fact, the farther away the galaxy is, the faster it, faster it appears to be moving away. It's, as, it's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true... Was everything closer together in the past? And how far can we extrapolate? How far back? Did the universe have a beginning? Yeah, but... So what do you... Wait, so... Hmm. Is it moving away from you in all directions? Or... Arena Centrum? Hornfeld's observation. This is incredible! At first, I thought the point of light in this image were stars. But they're not. They're galaxies. Hmm. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I... I think I need to sit down. Indeed. It is. Mind-boggling. There you are! I've been, been here for a little while, actually. You didn't hear me. I just finished the pre-flight observation and local conditions are good. It's been like three days. I've been walking around for like three days. Is, are the conditions still good? When I get back to my spaceship, it's gonna be another day. Is it still gonna be good? Time to get a new astronaut out of the ground! I'm not questioning things. And you'll be the first astronaut ever equipped with the no, no my translator tool. I confess. I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of no my. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'll meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one has gone before. I think I'll start somewhere small, with something small. I don't know. I want to learn more. <clears throat> I might as get, I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. You don't know me. We barely scratched the surface of Nomai writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We have no idea if they originated here or traveled traveled here, or why they disappeared. I'm just saying, my man, when I'm done, you're gonna need a bigger museum downstairs. That tool of yours should provide indisputable... Should prove indisputable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all is left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space! Actually, I'm ready to just get off this fucking rock. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Hey, help me with anything. Hello there, was there something you needed? 
Where are the other travelers? Tell me about Felsbar. Felsbar was one of four founding members of Outer Wilds. Um, along with our flight coach Gossen, Slate, the engineer and me. Uh, as ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Felsbar as closely as Slate and Gossen did. I can tell you Felsbar was absolutely fearless though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Felsbar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just... didn't come back. We don't know what happened, or where Felsbar went, or even where... When, whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Was there something else you needed? Uh, tell me about the other travelers. Oh, let's see. Shirt is on Hourglass Twins, Raybeck on Brittle Hollow, and Gabro is on Giant Deep, Giant's Deep. And there's Felspar, obviously, but of course, we don't know where they are or if they're still even alive. Felspar's been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. Is there anything else you needed? Oh, thanks, I'm good. Take care. Launch code. Doot doot. Doot doot doot. Doot doot. Is, the, is it really Morse code for something? Oh, hey, uh, Excuse me, my man. What the fuck? Did you need something? Excuse me, you need to turn this way. They're gonna think that I did this. I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't do it, goat man. That gave me chills, dude. Oh. Ooh, okay, I'm not scared. You're scared. I'm not scared. Oh, hi. Hey, hey. So how did... Uh, so did you get a good look at that ni no my statue? You tricked me. You knew that was gonna happen, huh? The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you saw images from your memories and glowing lights around? You mean like a hallucination? How did you know that? I didn't say that. Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. No, the statue was definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfels tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. If you knew that they were trying to make those eyes open, why did you respond that way when I told you the eyes opened? Rude. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said they were going back to Giant Steep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd better off searching for some info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use uh, our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Can I? Maybe? Yeah. It's still turned. The eyes are still open. My man, come over here. Just, it's right there. Still turned. Eyes open. How do I use the translator tool? No, oh, that's the frequency. Hmm. So, can I... How do I use that? I will check controls. No, no. Okay. Equipment. No. <laughs> Uh, no. So that's, that was probably, this head thing was probably a way for them to gather information on new sites and stuff, right? So they just picked the dumbest creature on this planet to get the most information from and they're like, Oh yeah, this, this dude, he just crashed a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, Tobies. 
He's dumb enough. Let's read his mind. Hey! Hello, astronaut! Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Felsper did? What? Yeah, uh, Hornfeld says Felsbar went into space and didn't come back. Hornfeld says Felsbar was the best pilot ever, but no one knows what happened to them. Hornfeld probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like that. That's not something I want to think about right now. Hornfeld says that too. But if Felsbar disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Felsbar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Confidence boost was amazing, kids. I cast shadow on you. <laughs> well, well, well. Ow. Hi. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. Uh, we're working to fi uh, on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. I, I, wa I want an avoidance system. Have you seen me fly the drone? I suck. Like, I really suck. You know? I can't even make marshmallows taste right. Whee! Just build one of those lifts straight into space. A tube into space. Do I do something? Am I supposed to do something with this? I'll just go into the glow. Oh! One of them crystals, eh? It's it it's it's made of wood. I'm just saying. You ship log. Ah Yas. One and only Hearthians village, as well as many sources of exploration on this planet. The, the Nomai sat in the wood opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flash before my eyes. My my own memories of the last few days, I guess. Hal says the Setu has never opened his eyes before. Despite Hornfell's, Hornfell's best efforts. A cave at the very center! Yeah, successfully repaired. Huh? Find in... Ooh, wait, what? So there's still things to explore even here? Huh. Okay, so... There's still things to explore on this very island, I guess. Should we do that? Or... What was it? Well, you know what? I wanna go into space! Okay, get me out of here, I'm already scared! Lift off landing camera. Oh. Unbuckle and lift off. <laughs> uh, should I still be holding it down? Oh no, am I controlling this whole thing? Where's my autopilot, sir? I feel like... Uh, uh, wait. Okay, now. I feel like... Should I not be crashing, maybe? Ah! <laughs> I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Engage autopilot. Yes. <laughs> uh, can I land? Oh. Cool. But so landing modes. So to go down. Careful, careful. Have I landed? Should I maybe have put on my suit? Tell me 
have to start over now. I did so much. Oh, wait. Oh. <coughs> I just went into space and instantly died. That is fantastic. Oh, no, don't tell me I have to start over. Did I? Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You look like half asleep. But that's a negative, okay. I know sedition to sleep out under the stars the night before the launch, but if you ask me, it makes me you all a little bit jumpy, dude. Bitch, I died. I, I just need to tell you that. I feel like... I feel like um, Mr. Goathead just saved my life. Hey, let's do that again! I'm not scared to die. I'm not scared to die at all. You know what? You know what I will do this time? Suit up. Yes. Yes. Wee! Let's go! Toby! Where is that moon? I need my revenge. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should get off the planet first. <laughs> Hey, um, I don't want that. I wanted the moon. Yes, let's land on the sun next. Um, wasn't there a moon circulating this one? Oh, there it is. Oh. Is that good? How do I... Uh... Are we on it? Nope. Okay, guess what? I'm having my space suit on this time. Uh, how did I turn off the... turn on the light? Didn't we hear, uh, something here? There? It's something, it's something, it's something. Yeah. Is this like where I was supposed to land or something? <laughs> oh, oh no, no, no. Ow. Maybe it would have been enough to just jump there. Yo. Nice. <clears throat> Signal log. Day 48. Still not picking up Rebecca's banjo from Brittle Hollow. Oh. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I hear their music. Day 51. Listen to Shirt Shirt play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy? And Gossan, their flirting is not subtle from Ariel's perspective. 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rebek doing okay. That oaf. I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know what. It was probably nothing. In nothing enough for you to report it at least. Day 70. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. 
76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timberheart sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in, spa in space ages ago. Can't be them. Alright, so they have the harmonica, alright. <clears throat> the 88, it's still there. This is creepy. Maybe my stethoscope is broken and talk to Genesis. Why would it be broken? There's a banjo. That's good. Do, do, do the drums. But didn't I hear one? Yeah. Oh, no, no. There we are. Hi. Oh, hey, it's you. Grand Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, why do you not have a suit on? I died. Instantly. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? Was that you whistling? It seems lonely up here. What is this place? Was that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up the... Uh, their music from Cygnoscope, you know. Best spot for that. Uh, for that is the North Pole. Great perception. Cool. The North Pole is marked the red uh, on your minimap, but the other lock is pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. Don't go. Uh, I mean, uh, anything else you want to talk about? Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw some traffic back when our ship... Uh, ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent up... Uh, repairs nowadays is mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes, shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary spice flight. Don't go. I mean, anything else you want to go? Uh, seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfeld and Gossen mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets, I'm up here, and they usually do. I launch my little suck scouts at the village. They forgot about you? You spy on us? They forgot about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. Don't go. Uh, what is this place? Aha! Very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Ah, welcome to Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach you anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Then it must be a lot. Uh, using the outpost cut down the numbers of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. <laughs> Okay. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber, harvest, and keeping an eye on things. Okay, but uh, again, how do you... Um, do you just breathe here? or <gasps> Equip. Can I... Can I... Yes. Wait, really? Me. 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 Black. Black. Uh, nice, I suppose. Um... I'm getting all disoriented looking at this. Oh, that's cool. I don't... I... Come back here. Come back, come back here. Uh, okay. Da 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 da
No, that's just our planet. Now, where did I park the car? I found it. I found the flag. Can we poke it? No. You're no fun. So there is a limit to my. Hey, look at my toe beads. To my air and stuff. Wish I could run. Oh, there we are. Of course. No. No. Ow, my toe beans. Wah, 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 wah. I do not want to take it off, but maybe it's like um getting refilled and stuff when it's here. Mubba. Mubba. Oh yeah. Hmm. Esker Signoscope Log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. Hmm, dropping trees. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone for too long. Yeah. But also, we didn't... I guess explore enough here because we still had two things there. Uh, regardless, do we do we uh, hmm, put the suit back on? Don't go without it. Oh, refuel. I see. Nothing is automatic here. Nothing. So, where was this north? Just north? Like here? Eh. Lummy pace! I have important things to do! I'm a very important... person! Oh, pretty. Whoa! That's looking cool! Whee. So like from here then, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Can't see it from here, but it's over on the other side. Interesting. Hmm. I confirmed it. I confirmed La Harmonica. We nice. E. That's fine. I didn't need my nose anyway. So. I think that's actually gonna do it for the first episode. I was recording for a long time. This game is super fun. Leave a like if you want me to continue this game. I'm guessing I'm gonna get at least one from my friend. He wanted me to play this game, so I'm looking forward to your like, friend. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye!